Hello. Just wanted to do a video today on uh, this kind of battery pack adapter that I got um, for my uh, Baofeng uh, radio. The uh, 80, is it the UV82, I believe? Um, well, this is actually the UV82 Plus. But uh, a lot of the 82s are pretty similar. So the way it works is it just fits onto where your normal battery pack would be. It's fairly light. Um, pop into place. And you can plug this into your car charger. Something like that. So I thought, well, it'd probably be a good way to avoid depleting the battery if you don't need to be running on batteries. But coming out of, you know, a potentially unreputable market, I decided maybe to test it first. All right, so we plugged it in here to an adapter going to my power supply, giving it 12 volts. Um, so the first thing I wanted to check, make sure I'm not just zapping my radio. So um, check the uh, voltage at the output, make sure it's somewhere around 8 volts. Uh, the battery would pack would give you so we get about eight volts and um, I mean the battery pack will give you anywhere from about 7.4 to 8.4 volts or thereabouts it's uh, two lithium ion cells in uh, series so if the output looks good you can um, plug it in see how it works Okay, so seems to work, um, lights up, everything's good, we're using, let me show you, not too much current, alright so here we are on just a GMRS channel, quiet at the moment, I'm just going to key up and give her a test, so we can see it just kind of dies. So, um, that's no good. Let's turn it off, unplug it, and it doesn't always die. Sometimes it dies. Sometimes it transmits and then it dies afterwards. But this, this is pretty light. So I was kind of wondering, what's in here? Is there some sort of switching uh, regulator, um, step-down regulator? So. Let's uh, get this open. It's, uh, I think it's fairly easy. It seems it should be fairly easy to get open. Just kind of pry here. Okay. And we have not much going on here. Um, so we have just a simple regulator here and a couple capacitors so this is um a 7808 so it's just a, a 8 volt linear regulator that's really not going to uh be good enough for this application it's fine for just sitting around and scanning and maybe listening but if you want to transmit and you need to put eight watts out you're you're not going to do it through this this is probably limited to about an amp but it's really just gonna heat up and just get too hot and the voltage is gonna drop and it's it's just not gonna be very good and the these wires are pretty thin I wouldn't really trust this thin wiring so um, I looked around and I had one of these nice uh, step-down regulators switching regulators I got off eBay and these are pretty inexpensive and um, this looks like it might do the trick so what I wanted to do was to see if I could fit this in here replacing this other um, linear regulator maybe even beef up the wiring it may not be that crucial but if I have something else I may do that and maybe beef up this wiring too because we're gonna be pushing you know an amp through here kind of minimum so um, you know these are rated for 8 watts transmit um, so you know at 1 amp that's gonna be uh, 1 amp at about 8 volts that's what you have there so 
Um, it's, uh, seems the wiring seems kind of inadequate. So let's see if we can fit this in here and um, see if I can find some maybe some beefier wiring. This might, it might be okay, but we'll see what we can find. So all right. So the first thing you want to do before you try to use this uh, step down regulator is to apply power to the input side. Make sure you get the polarity right. Input plus, um, input minus. Make sure your power supply is set to like 12 volts if you're going to be uh, using this with your car. Or, you know, that's a good voltage to run these at anyways. And then you're going to want to uh, trim the output to uh, around 8 volts. Uh, up to 8.4. Because you might get some voltage drop, but you can you can always kind of play with it later a little bit. So you're going to want to tune that with this uh, resistor, trimmer resistor here. Um, so you just spin this potentiometer here and uh, watch your output, measure your output. Um, you can see here I have trimmed mine to I think about 8 volts. Let me turn this on. Okay, 8.2, that's where I left it. But if you, uh, spin this, you know, you can vary the output. So I'm gonna leave it at about 8.2. That should be a pretty, the device should see a pretty uh, fully charged battery at about that. Um, uh, there will be some voltage drop, so if, if it's a bit much, um, you can always tune it to 8.4. I wouldn't go really much higher than that, though, um, because uh, you're going to be giving more power to the radio. There's no power limiting within it, so um, the uh, output transistor will heat up when you're uh, transmitting, and you could burn some stuff out. So tune this up, get that tuned up to the right voltage. And then we're going to try to fit it into the case. It seems like it should just fit, barely. There's probably not going to be any room for double-sided tape or anything. It's probably just going to have to sit straight on there. So, so I'm going to try to fit this in here. Because this top capacitor, this, uh, let's see, is this the output? This is the output. The capacitor is the same height, I think. It seems like it's, you know, just going to fit. It's probably going to be pu pushing against... Um, the upper part of the case here, but it looks like it's going to fit. I've enlarged this hole here for a little bit larger wire I'm going to use. I found some, kind of stole this uh, from another uh, supply um, switching adapter, car switching adapter head. These are pretty beefy um, wires here, so I'm going to use this instead. Uh, and we're just going to test that out. The only thing I'm kind of worried about is with the linear regulator, you're going to get a pretty nice uh, output, probably, noise-free. And then I'm not sure uh, about the noise um, from this, so I don't know if that's going to play with the radio. And um, it's always nice to have a, a very nice, quiet DC signal. So we'll see. Do a little, a couple tests, maybe. Um, nothing too extensive, but... Um, you know, just to see if it'll get us by with, uh, without the battery. So I'm going to try to set this all up, uh, and I'll be back with some, when, uh, some testing is in order. All right, well, here's kind of the end result before, uh, I'll try to stuff it all back away. Um, I had planned to keep this regulator sitting like this. And... Eventually, if this works out, probably pop this open, put some uh, epoxy and stuff in here to hold everything together. Um, it's better than just flapping around in here. Make Take care to make sure your polarities are all correct. You don't want to get your polarities wrong and damage something. All right, I'm back. I was able just to kind of get everything in place and put this in. Uh, for the time being, uh, just to test it out, 
for uh, just kind of modifying it to make sure it, everything goes back together properly. But um, we have it uh, plugged in. We have uh, 12 volts being fed in. Let's turn it on. And we can see that it lights up. Seems to work. Let's we're getting on a, just a quiet just GMRS channel. I'm just going to key it up here. And we can see that it stays lit. Interestingly enough, the amount of current it uses seems a little bit variable. But it's not um, falling out. The radio is not just kind of shutting off. So it seems like it's working fairly well. Of course, there'll be, you know, more testing over time and it's it's um, using a fair bit of current uh, so you know it's maybe only doing something like 80 80 percent uh, efficiency with regulation so you might have you know 20 percent of this power being dissipated in in this uh, module here so have to um, keep an eye on that as well so it's probably just fine but it is using quite a bit of current there. Um, probably end up putting, I just have it hooked up like this, but I'll probably end up putting uh, an adapter, like something like this on here instead. So I don't have to have this big um, car adapter everywhere. And then you can just plug it in to maybe like a 12 volt uh, switching adapter you have around. So you can just run on uh, AC uh, your supply like that instead. Okay, so like one last little note too. Um, this doesn't seem to clip back in. I think it's I think it's all flush. So I think it'd be fine, but I don't I don't think this clips in. I think this was actually glued in. So um, it's going to need to be re-glued back, of course. And then there's the problem where you want to clamp this down once you re-glue it, because if this is sitting up some, it may not go back into the radio. So you want to clamp this down tight when, once you re-glue this all back together. So if it's elevated a little bit, you may not be able to slide it back into the radio. So make sure this is, you know, nice and, and clamped down and flush when you uh, put it back in. I mean, it'll, it'll fit back in as is now, but obviously you probably want to um, glue it so it doesn't just come apart once you re release this. So, anyways, that's probably the last thing to worry about when you're uh, putting this all back together. All right, all right so I have it uh, glued, a little bit of glue, not too much, um, and uh, clamped down here, putting quite a bit of pressure on that inductor. Hopefully it's uh, not going to uh, do anything, you know, break or do anything like that. But, um, you know, this is one way to uh, to go about this. Another way entirely would be to um, have the regulation outside of uh, the battery pack. It's nice if you can fit it in here because there's a little bit of space, but you know it is fairly tight. So you know if, if you could say get an adapter, any, any sort of adapter that would um, or repurpose uh, another adapter that you could regulate to 8 volts or thereabouts, you know, um, that'd be another way of going about this. If, if, you know, fitting regulation in here is really just too tight or not an option, or the regulation you want to use is a bit uh, larger in size. So that's just another option I thought I'd mention. Um, all right, just wanted to kind of show what the end result was here. So we have the, uh, the hollow battery with the uh, voltage regulator in there. Um, I just used this heavier duty uh, cord. I put one of these um, barrel jack connector ends on. So now I can just uh, grab a, a 12 volt uh, power supply. So um, it appears to be working and um, now you can just, if you're gonna be um, at home or something and you don't wanna run your battery down, you can just uh, plug it into any 12 volt adapter you have. So that's how that works. And for the car adapter, I'll probably just end up putting a uh, just a plug like this on here, so I can just 
plug this in if in if I get in the car I can just plug one of these in they also make um, adapters like this but might as well reuse what you have these wires are pretty spindly so this I mean you might might break off you might have to resolder it or something but um so that that seems to be a a nice way to uh, get that done and just operate on wall power and then you don't have to you know go around with multiple batteries or worry about them running out or whatever so all right so just kind of one last thing um, I did epoxy this all up together and it's uh, holding tight I've been using it for a um, couple weeks now um, I did clamp this down after I epoxied just around the sides but uh, for some reason right on this corner this side it didn't um, wasn't able to uh, stick down all the way so this is just up a tiny bit but uh, it doesn't seem to matter I'm able to get it in and out but just kind of FYI um, it's maybe not the perfect solution but uh, it does seem to fit just fine it does seem to work just fine I'm thinking about maybe changing this to a, a barrel jack connector with a shroud on it so these will probably weaken and break over time um, but I'm able to use it with uh, battery bank and stuff so that's kind of cool so uh, don't have to necessarily run on the battery pack that it came with and uh, so all seems to be working pretty well with this um, I haven't noticed any negative side effects from the uh, switch mode uh, supply so it's kind of the final word on that um, you know, it's maybe not the perfect fit, but it, it did fit. So, thanks.